Hey guys. And talk to Rika. My name is Money. Better now I'm Abby. Together we have two kids, guys. I'm Jean, Noah, and Hazel. What the fly. hell? It's right in my ear. Today we're going to be going over all the different kinds of family members because there's if you're so Indian, you know there are so many and every single relative like has a different name, yep. whether they're older, younger, mom's side, mm. dad's side, and it can get really confusing. So today we're going to go through it. We're going to clear the confusion. Hanji. Help you guys. If you guys are new here, please head over to the Modern Things Instagram. Guys, don't you just hate it or find it so socially awkward when you walk into a family gathering and there's literally about 500 people in the room and you look all around the room and there's just aunties, uncles, boobies everywhere. And you're like, how am I related to all these people? And you literally have to do that really quick mathematics in your head thinking, oh my gosh, this is from this side, this person's younger than me. No, that's the mom's side. So they're all the same. It's really, really hard work. So today we're going to go through all of that with you. We're going to figure it out together. So let's start. Who, sh who should we start with? I think we need to start with Dadke first because Dadke is always on you top. You won't say that. But excuse me? We know that Nanke is better. Dadke is always on top. I was about to say but We know Nanke is better. I'm just making it clear. Dad kids think they're on top, but non kids are better. So from Daddy G's side, I think we need to start with the oldest person in Daddy G's family. BPG? Which is BPG. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, Auntie. So of course she is like the crown monarch in the family. Of course she is Money's BPG. And yeah, she's the oldest out of everyone. And then first of all, who did she have? Daddy G. Dad. So dad is the oldest of his family, so none of that changes for us. He is just dead. Daddy G to us, but that does make it much easier because he has two younger brothers, mm. and the younger brothers are always called Cha -cha -G. Cha -cha G. So if you had an older brother, they would have been called Taya G, just to confuse you a little bit longer. But we don't have a Taya in our family, so we have two Cha -cha Gs. So that is your dad's younger brother, yep. and their wives are called Cha -cha -G. Cha -cha G. So it like matches, you know, Cha 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 G. <laughs> Good job, Hazel. We're teaching a child along the way. <laughs> and then it will. But if Daddy G had an older brother, it would be called Taya. And what what would his wife be called? Taiji. So if my dad had an older brother, we would call him Taiji, and his wife Taiji. So we are basically. Everyone's Taya and Taiji. When all the other boys have their babies, we are going to be the old ones. Chattu ke chanda ne chattu ke chandi ko chandi chong me chandi ke chand chamse se chutni chutai. So apart from dad's two younger brothers, he also has two younger sisters. Um, but no matter if the dad's sister is younger or older, it is still called. Puaji. And her husband would be called a Pufurji. And it doesn't matter again if the husband is younger or older. He's always called Pufurji. But like, why is that? I swear I will never understand why the woman's side of the family, and we'll get to more of that in a second. Yeah. But the, it's, it doesn't matter whether younger or older, it's just yeah. the same. Yes. But They're man, always it's always different. So you got Taya, Taya, Chachi, you know, but for Puaji, never. Tuki gana chondia. I love you so much. So that's us covering the dad's brother and the dad's sister. Let's now cover dad. Is there any more relatives for dad? He's just trying to take you out of this ah, video. Ah, 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 ah. But apart from that, guys, if any of the Chachis, Chacha, Dais, Buajis have children, usually you would just call them Viji or Didi. You know, just keep it respectful. You're just basically calling them brother or sister because. Punjabi families are so big, everyone is like one big but family. How many comments do we get saying that if the Didi is smaller, you don't call it Didi? Should be called Ben. But we just keep it a Didi to be nice and respectful over here. We know that technically Didi does mean older sister and Ben would mean younger sister. You can also do it that way if you like, but we just keep it at Didi because it's just nice and easy and everyone calls everyone the same thing. All my life, I've called my technically Dadiji. All my life, I've called my Dadiji Bibiji, and Bibiji just basically means old lady. Old lady. Bye, In technical terms, guys, Mani's dad's mum and dad would be called Dadiji, and the dad would be Dadaji, and that would be yeah, like the technical way of saying it. But you can always call like Dadi Dadu. But, but do not be like me, guys. All my life, I've called my Dadiji BBG, and BBG just means old lady. Old lady. But to the old ni hai 
तो थी मेरी दादी आ I don't know. Would you ever go to my My dad place? calls her Bibi. My mom calls her Bibi. My chacha ji calls her Bibi. My pua ji calls her Bibi. Can you imagine just going up to my grandma and being like, "Hello, old lady. How's it going?" However, what would your mom's mom be called? Nanni ji. Hanji. And your mom's dad? Nanna. Hanji. So we're going to the mom's side. Now so we're going, going to Nan ke. Aaj aaj apna fly kar ke India jaane aap. Sir, kurta kiti hai? Huh? Huh? So as we previously stated, Nanni and Nannaji would be your grandparents on your mother's side. Then obviously your mummy ji and daddy ji are just who they are. But maybe it's time I test you. Tu di mainu test karne. Ha. Thonu lagda mainu Punjabi nahi aundi. Chalo kar do test. Theek hai. Theek hai. So what would your mom's sister be? Masi ji. And her husband? Masad ji. And would it dif be different if they were younger or older? No. Why? <laughs> Kyo? Why? Why? Exactly. Honestly, like that's it. very confusing. Like as we mentioned previously, dad's brothers, as they get older or younger, it changes the name. But for mom. However, no. on the other side, what would your mom's brother be called? Mama ji. And his wife? Mami ji. And would that change if they were younger or older? No he ji. Kyo? Why are you asking me? My own, thodi likhe ya, rishte dari. And again, guys, if mama, mummy, or masi, masir were to have children, again, you would just call. Excuse me, you didn't add the G on the end, okay? Even parle G is respectful. But just to reiterate, guys, if mama G or mummy G or masi G and masir G ever had children, we would just call them vir G or didi again, just keeping it respectful, brother, sister. But in terms of speaking to anyone that is older than you or just someone that you really respect, you would always just usually add G at the end of either their name or the relative name, just to make sure you're keeping that respect. You know, there's like a You know, you, if it's someone that's younger than you, or someone that you're really close with, like your brother, you'd be like, "Kida." But if it was like a baby G or something, you would be like, "Sad Sri Kal G," and that's just more of a respectful way to say it. So, yeah. जे तुझी है ना किसी नू कुत्ता कहना चाहूँ ना उन्हों के वो तुझी कुत्ते हो G, like respectfully. ठीक है जी? But the real complicated one, guys, is when you go to the big Punjabi weddings and you have your mother's, sister's, brother's, neighbor's, daughter's, fiance's, girlfriend. And then everyone is just like, oh yeah, Satsi Kal Masi right away, and you're like, how did you even do so, that mental thing in your head to get there? Like every time I go to an event, I literally I'm scanning the room and I'm thinking, okay, that is that person's brother's sister's son's husband. It's easy. Huh? Once you know that that person is dealt with Mamiji side, yeah. becomes a Masi straight away. Her husband Masir <laughs> done. But then, so if you don't know the person and you don't know whether you you know the, the the husband or the wife. Yes. This is my example. Yes. Say, you know it's the mum side, and you're like, okay, is it the wife that knows the mum, or is it the husband that knows the mum? Because then that changes the names completely. Because it could be a Masir or a Pua, Hanji. or like a Fufur. Yeah. Hanji. And you don't want to so say, for instance, I thought it was the. The lady, right? So I'm like Satsuga Masiji, and then they're like, <laughs> and that, my husband is like, I'm not a mustard, <laughs> I'm the mama, you know? And that's when white people like migrated into India, and they made our lives easier by just saying Sasiya Uncleji, Sasiya Auntie. Why do you always have to go back to invasion? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> to Tiga? Is there a reason you married me? You had to like take over me? Is that <laughs> what this was? It was okay. a revenge. <laughs> Guys, I'm just joking about that. But to make life easier, just be like Sasri Kal Uncle Ji, Sasri Kal Aunty Ji. You definitely can't do that. But I still do not do that to this day. And I hear other Indian girls do it, and that's like yeah, that's I true. I can understand why, but I still don't do it because. You know what you say? Koshir kandi yorthani Sasri Kal Ji. I don't. I, most of the time, I do. That. You just yeah. put the G, and they can fill in the blanks <laughs> after. You know, Sasri Kal Ji. Fill in the blanks. <laughs>